Seven city officials are holding a meeting where the public gets the chance to weigh in on a proposed Bucky's, a massive gas station and convenience store. Back in December, the Mebane planning and zoning officials rejected the proposal planned at Trollingwood Hawfields Road that's right off of I-40. It would be the first one in the state and it's drawn strong reaction since plans for that site were released. Michael Perchik joining us now in downtown Mebane as the final decision rests with the city council. Hi, Michael. Hey, Lauren, in a city that has seen tremendous growth over the past decade plus, the addition of a Bucky's could take it to another level. Whether that's a positive or not depends on who you ask. I really hope it comes. It's a cool place to go, um, even to experience, just to drive by. But I think it would bring a lot of business to our local communities. Kayla Sturgis's family owns Rainline, located on Trollingwood Hopfields Road, a short distance away from the proposed Bucky site just off of I-40. I think it would bring a lot of tourism, like coming through. Bucky's plans call for a 75,000 square foot building on 32 acres with up to 120 fuel pumps. Inside, there will be food and retail. The jobs, tax revenue, um, and they're supposed to have some good stuff to eat. <laughs> How about that? And gas prices are supposed to be less, so I just see overall being a good thing. However, others feel differently. This is an area where there's a strong community and a lot of children and elders there who will be deeply impacted by the emissions of these vehicles and the water runoff into the community. Just last week, a group delivered a petition to city leaders with more than a thousand signatures voicing opposition to the project. The level of congestion um, that the roads are going to be facing with an additional um, 1,000 hourly daily visitors on the weekdays and, and even more than that on Saturday. And that is just not something that our roads and, and local people um, want to be dealing with when we're trying to get to the doctor, uh, the grocery store, um, to see friends. This debate comes as Mebane undergoes an overall transformation. The U.S. Census Bureau reports its population grew by nearly 70 percent between 2010 and 2022. Whether Bucky's will be part of that boomtown could be determined tonight. And staffers already setting up overflow seating inside in anticipation of those big crowds. Many of the folks have already showed up filling up the parking lot here. That meeting kicks off at 6 o'clock and we will have an update of what is discussed coming up tonight at 11. In Mebane, I'm Michael Perchick, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.